Kasi wala pa. Og. Ah, Kaliso. Okay. Mura di ko kita ni Attorney Joey. Isibo gamay. Ha? Ah, okay. Kana, okay na. Dayon. George Goking, Counselor Gamay lang. Gamay lang, malingkuranan. Di ko kita. Salo, si Dr. Gaani. Uy, isibo ko gamay. Natabunan, ha? <laughs> Hi, Chair. <laughs> so, okay na, okay. 24th regular session of the 20th City Council is now called to order. Please rise. Invocation by Honorable Councillor Aimee Rose Moreno, followed by the singing of the National Anthem and Cagayan de Oro March. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God of justice and mercy, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for today and the opportunity to serve the people of our city. Help us to act with character and conviction. Help us to listen with understanding and goodwill. Help us to speak with charity and restraint. Give us a spirit of service. Remind us that we are stewards of your authority. Guide us to be the leaders Cagayanons need. We pray that as we discuss our agenda and craft policies for our city today, we will always put the people's interest above our own. Remind us that we are in this position not to be served, but to serve the public. Just as Christ, who is King, came not to be served, but to serve. Help us see the humanity and dignity of those who disagree with us, and to treat all persons, no matter how weak or poor, with the reverence your creation deserves. And finally, Father, renew us with the strength of your presence and the joy of helping to build a community worthy of the human person. We ask this as your sons and daughters, confident in your goodness and love. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pampansang awit ng Pilipinas.
please be seated. Atong pambansang awit, next week pa kay napay gipang uh, gipang modify. Anyway, uh, Mr. Secretary, please do the roll call. Honorable Jocelyn B. Rodriguez, City Vice Mayor and Presiding Officer for the First District Councilors. Honorable Agapito Eriberto G. Swan, Honorable Roger G. Abaday, Honorable J.R. Pascual, Honorable Amy Rose P. Moreno, Honorable Romeo B. Calizo on official business, Honorable George E. Gokin, Honorable Jose Pepe S. Abu Jr., Honorable Malvern E. Esparcia. For the Second District Councilors, Honorable Ivona Yasini B. Imano, Honorable Maria Lourdes Iscaani, Honorable Jalen Mercedes El Balaba, Honorable James K. Judith II, Honorable Ian Mark Kinakaya, Honorable Edgar S. Cabanlas, Honorable Christian Rostico M. Achas, and Honorable Josette G. Magtahas Daba. For the ex-officio members, Honorable Yan Lam S. Lim, Liga ng mga Barangay President, and Honorable John Michael L. Seno, City SK Federation President. There is quorum, Madam Chair. A quorum is hereby certified. So, good afternoon, uh, councillors, our friends from media, of course, fellow Kagayanos who are watching our live stream. And I hope you feel comfortable with your place right now. <laughs> this is going to be three months long. And uh, I hope at the back, Suzette, uh, I hope you're okay, ma huh? Madam Chair, yes, please. personal uh, collective privilege. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, yes. Actually, Madam Chair, I, w I was perplexed. And we were surprised with the new changes of our seat plan, seating arrangement. And this is the first time that I have experienced also for 14 years in the city council. Usually, uh, with the consensus of the majority, whatever it is in our uh, council. And as I look at the call of the order of the day, it was not in this uh, uh, schedule, Madam Chair. Now, consider this as not an opposition. I am willing to be assigned anywhere else. I only just say mong lingkuranan Madam Chair. <laughs> I'm just asking, I'm just asking, what is the importance and urgency of this uh, uh, sitting arrangement? If this is the regular procedure, then we will include this in our internal rules. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I got you. So, uh, when I said that there was a sitting arrangement, when was that, last week? I could have, my attention could have been, uh, been uh, what do you call this? This could have been addressed. I do not know whether to have to have the, what you call this. Are we going to have an approval from the body for this? I mean, I do not know, huh? Uh, what is the law here? Yes, Councillor, uh, Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayan Mark Nakaya. Uh, thank you, Madam Presiding Officer. Uh, we tolerate the, the point of uh, personal and collective privilege uh, raised uh, by Councillor Roger Abada. It should have been done after the uh, minutes of meeting. Ah, okay. Uh, at any rate, uh, since we are already in this uh, proceeding and uh, having been recognized by the presiding officer, uh, any and all uh, activities uh, conducted by the, uh, by the legislative uh, branch is uh, a function of the consensus of the majority. Okay. And uh, correctly put by uh, Councillor Roger Abaday, that uh, uh, it should be uh, collectively discussed okay. by the membership. However, uh, as uh, he also articulated, that uh, we are not in opposition, but uh, considering that the uh, placement sometime and arrangement may not be to the liking of uh, the members of the majority, maybe perhaps uh, it should be also considered. Okay. But uh, we are not uh, quarreling the presiding officer <laughs> with uh, her uh, uh, discretion, as uh, if I may put it uh, in the manner that uh, this has been uh, uh, implemented. However, uh, in the future, maybe perhaps we can uh, sit down, uh, Madam Presiding Officer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Majority Floor Leader, uh, Councillor Ayan Mark Nakaya. Today I know 
that we have to go through the process of rearranging and perhaps then the council will approve before I say so. Okay, it is very clear. I didn't know that because when the last time I mentioned about the rearrangement, I didn't hear from anybody that he has to go through the process of approving no, the city council. It's a learning for me also. So I apologize for that. And uh, perhaps, uh, how do we do that? Once they are now, <laughs> they are now in the sitting arrangement. Uh, we will just leave uh, uh, this, this set up as arranged as uh, today. And uh, maybe perhaps uh, yes. uh, through uh, our city secretary, uh, some uh, conferences will be made by individual or by uh, grouping, by the members of the minority and the majority. Okay. And as to uh, where to sit uh, uh, a member in, in, in this type of uh, parliament, uh, Madam Presiding Officer. Okay, we thank you very much. Just leave it as is for today. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Council Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayan Maknakaya. Yes, Councillor Edgar Cabanlas. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. I mean, uh, the old tradition of uh, the seating arrangement of the members of the city council, in my experience in the past, is based on the, rank, on the ranking. Ah, okay. To make it uh, uh, medio dili kayo problematic. Na ang number one, you need two, three, four, mm. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, para nga, di ta mag-away asa ta malingkod. Ah. That was the practice before. And, uh, pero I think, uh, the Vice Mayor can, of course, uh, uh, for purposes of, uh, you know, balancing everything. I mean, uh, the Vice Mayor can propose on that. Thank you. Especially that uh, the Vice Mayor is the presiding officer. So, mukha na ang atong uh, system kanya ito, nga, ang, para wala yung mag-ilog, nga, kasi una din sa project, ito sa lahi. Pasa ako, pwede siya ko dito repeat, kaya sabi ko, wala problema. Gusto ko mabalik dito. Kaya ulaw siya kayo niya ko din eh, nga, I am uh, number six. It's supposed okay. to be, the protocol is, uh, we arrange that uh, in order not to have any, ano, discussion. Kasi, i-arrange na, let the secretary do it. Diba kanya to talk ka mo man, ang secretary mo may gabot sa seating arrangement. And for the secretary not to get the ire of the members of the city council, he did that uh, through that procedure. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. you very much. It's very clear because when I was at once, a bar uh, what you call this, a council, I was never asked where to sit. I was assigned. So it is an experience for me thinking all along that this is acceptable. But I do not want this to happen. I want still to follow what is really legally accepted in our plenary. Dili ko gusto magbuto. I am for this arrangement so that whatever, dili na lang for three years mo yung imong matupad. Then after three months, hopefully la na sa imong matupad. So we, uh, we, uh, I do this for a better sigur relationship to each one of you. When I was deprived before, when I was sitting at the back, wala, I never was given a chance in the middle. I was never given a chance to sit in front. And I was never, ever experienced undergoing through the process of, uh, what you call this, following the procedure, uh, there is a votation or discussion. So, ang ako lugar, for me, in my own opinion, I just want to be friendly to everybody. I give them the opportunity, katong na idol-dool dito na po sa likod. Kay ako na ako sa tubangan, to be honest, burag layo kay si Councillor Cabanlas for me. Sa ako lang ah, being uh, seated here, so layo po sila ni uh, uh, Michael Sen, uh, Councillor Seno, and the rest. So it's not going to be permanent, it's going to be three times, no? Siguro, uh, what you call this, every three months. It depends na on you. So, katong nahitabo sa akong sitting arrangement is because mo'y ako nakatunan last time. So, in this way, if this is what it should be, why not? No? Uh, Mr. Secretary, so let's do 
the uh, I don't know how you will go about it, uh, Majority Floor Leader. How we will go about it? Would you like me to give it to uh, for for or, approval? Or over a cup of coffee, we can ah, informally okay. discuss uh, okay. things uh, like this. Uh, yeah, presiding yeah. Also. That's why when the last time I mentioned about rearranging, somebody could have already mm. uh, told me so that I will know because things are not. I'm not telling everybody that I know everything. Sometimes I base it on my experience. Okay. Yeah. So, ato nang i-discuss, okay? okay? So, ang ako is not only, uh, this is only for three months because I want it again that uh, uh, magka-amigo. Like, for example, the reason why I put Attorney James and Counselor Balaba, I want them to be friends. Ako ang giging lang, hapakaragon na, huwag magpabadlog. Ha? Uh, way back, ay na na way back, college days, ay na na. <laughs> Say na. <laughs> Padayo na na inyong vlog. <laughs> anyway, sige. Uh, we, let's do that, okay? For, with the permission of everybody for now, is this okay for you for now? Just for three months, I would like to ask. Okay, Rabaninyo, then the, the following uh, next three months, then we it will be real. We will discuss. What is the consensus? Uh, this is not traditional, huh? because uh, yeah. your, your, your experiment of uh, Madam Presiding Officer of having relationships be built upon a, a seating arrangement I do not know after three years or two years and six months <laughs> if uh, <laughs> the, 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 the relationship will will prosper and your uh, your direction would uh, have would bear successes. Uh, that's that remains to be seen. But uh, there is uh, in the in the in the legislative branch, uh, Madam Presiding Officer. Uh, as a matter of principle, I remember. Uh, one of the values is uh, stability mm -hmm. and uh, the stability of uh, a legislative branch depends uh, not only on leadership but uh, also in in the the mutual uh, feeling of content among the uh, membership so if we impose uh, I do not know if uh, it would uh, go a, a better uh, uh, it, it, it would uh, uh, reach to the point of uh, the good intention. So the best and most cordial is uh, consensus. Okay. Consensus. That's okay. I have no problem with that. Uh, so again, uh, if... Uh, the presiding officer would allow. Uh, we, we also have no quarrel of uh, you're trying to uh, uh, accomplish uh, your personal goal in trying to mend some some issues between and among the membership. Uh, uh, it would come. Uh, I, I, I know that for sure because uh, after our one month uh, in, in a, in a uh, differing positions in in July, Madam yeah, Presiding yeah. Officer, we have mm -hmm. uh, greatly accomplished many things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, because uh, uh, we are not here for individual and personal interest, and uh, it's for the best interest of the people. But uh, in arrangement, uh, that's that would be another thing because uh, some of the members may not be openly and publicly uh, speaking. But uh, they also would like to have uh, okay. uh, seatmates who are uh, who, whom they feel that uh, they are very confident and uh, can relate uh, openly. So uh, for that, uh, maybe perhaps uh, we'll give uh, a little due okay. on, on, on the privacy of ev every member. So dili kayo, dili kayo, sige lang, okay raman eh. Pero... Uh, Before... If it's okay with you, Karon, then we can uh, do another. Uh, no. 
Siguro. Uh, uh, our uh, secretary can be the uh, middleman in, okay. in, in, in the medium of our uh, points of uh, how we would like to arrange in the next uh, sessions. Okay, that's good. Officer. Yeah, Thank that's, you. that's Thank no you. problem. Really, no problem with me. It's just that because of based on my experience, I was never, I was never asked where I would like to say it. So sometimes you have this experience. We you thought all along, nga okay day, predili day okay. Because I was never referred before. I was never asked before where I want to sit. So, karon, bao ananako, then Mr. Secretary, then do the arrangement. What is comfortable for them? Because I try my best to uh, give you the most comfortable that you don't have to struggle for any. So, ako masabtan gina nako. And I will take it as something. Nga, I have to also to learn na kinana di ay ang proseso. So, salamat kayo. Thank you very much. But then, ang ako lang hangyo, if there is something like that, then so, someone could have taught me. Because this was discussed earlier. So, someone could have approached me nga dili man na yun ana. Because I do not presume that I know everything. Dili ko tanan kay balo ko tanan. Sometimes, malagi na, base experience, base sa kuan. So, earlier, you could have... Uh, told me nga dili pwede na because the consensus sa atong mga counselors. Now I know. So, thank you very much. Yeah, I do not know, Mr. Secretary, whether we have to proceed with this arrangement or rearrange again. So, it all depends on you. I'm only here to support you, whatever you problems you have, kung sa inyong kinalanan ako, or whatever nga akong matabang, no, we'll always be here for all of you. Maoragit na. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Mga tigulang. Yes, yes. Madam Chair, except lang, you know, wala may problema sa ako. Si Kunsel Balaban, you know, basi sa may mota. Nasa sa akong likod. Pero, di ba, pero tiyo, ang akong tuyo lang yun, Madam Chair, nga, Okay man to ang imo Madam Chair kung naamay unsay masabutan nato pero na siguro duha gyud ka mga plastada nga dili gyud nato immovable gyud na siya siguro considering sa leadership position like Kada, like the majority floor leader and of minority course. floor leader the rest uh, mo nang atong dili pagka, man gyud mo ma tandog kamong duha yeah. diha ra man gyud mo perme kamong oh. duha ah oh. except oh, like ana ra mo ana oh oh, oh. all right mo lang na mo giklaro pero pwede po <laughs> balik ni Gapon di ay nana mo lang ako giklaro sa pag-usab nga unsa man galing rearrangement pagpabilin man ni eh, or mo balik ta or laing nga mausab kato lang giklaro lang ako madam okay kamon duha permanente na mo diha kamon duha oh dili naman mo matay dili oh. ang ako man si Kunsel Balaba basi mo problema sa nga nasa sa kun likod <laughs> or pwede man pud mi magtapad nga kaming duha nga ana okay ra Gapon either <laughs> siya may muhapak ni mo sa likod <laughs> Anyway, it is very clear. So, uh, let us proceed. Yes, Council, uh, Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayan Mark Nakaya. Uh, thank you, Madam Presiding Officer. Kamit na itong five years old. Move, Madam Presiding Officer, to dispense with the reading of the minutes of meeting on the January 16, 2023 and to consider the furnishing of this copy to the members the reading itself. Second? Second, objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. I likewise move for the approval of the said minutes of meeting. Second, any objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. We have uh, actually three plus one uh, reporters uh, in this uh, session, Madam Presiding Officer. First is uh, Councillor Roger Balay as regards uh, the issue on the water supply in Barangay Punan. Next is Councillor John Michael L. Seno on the limiting the load capacity of trucks, hauling sand and gravel and other aggregates in the city. The third reporter, Councillor Amy Rose P. Moreno, is, uh, would like to defer her uh, special report uh, in the future uh, time, Madam Presiding Officer. Instead, uh, may I, as, uh, in lieu of her deferring the schedule, may I um, render a special report on the, the uh, uh, city ordinances of uh, Cagayan de Oro. And uh, Councillor uh, 
Melbourne Sparsha would like to render a special report if the presiding officer would uh, allow uh, as regards uh, the, load, the loading and unloading of, uh, of uh, transportation vehicles uh, during peak hours. So, okay. Abadai, Seno, Nakaya, and uh, Sparsha. Okay, Councillor Roger Abadai, you are recognized. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, Vice Mayor Jocelyn Bibot Rodriguez, uh, for your very uh, open heart no, in considering our concerns. Uh, my members of the 20th uh, City Council and all people who are listening and watching us online and in the gallery, uh, my hapon kaninyong tanan. Actually, this is not a leapover. A special report. I used to render reports about COWD until now. Uh, still, the problem is still uh, recurring. No? I should not have to bring this uh, uh, topic uh, in the city council, but considering that it was sent to me in J mail, and they are asking, so, and I believe that the city council office also received a J mail and some of you about this uh, concern. Now, this coming from James Kwan, from uh, the source of this, uh, the source of this complaint, from Ipunan and other areas of Cagayan de Oro. Uh, please, uh, I may read, I will read the context of their JML. Uh, this is uh, asking our uh, help, no? Uh, in vernacular, gikan uh, kan James Kwan, no? dated uh, in January 15, 2023. So, it stated, sabi ni siya, mayong adlaw sa tanang membro sa CDO uh, City Council. Kami, ng mga resident diri sa Cambridge, Uni uh, Cambridge Subdivision, <laughs> uh, Billiamar Subdivision, Regency Subdivision, Balaos, Ipunan, o uban pang diya sa Apir, Bulwa, nga apiktado sa problema sa water source na ngayo o tabang o manginaot, nanginaot, nga unta masolusyonan na kining problema namo sa tubig. Uh, kay dako, kaayo, nga kahasol o perwisyo nga ang gihatag ni ini sa among pagpamuyo. Kami, nanginaot nga matawag ninyo ang atensyon sa Cagayan de Oro Water District o sa mga masolusyonan kini sa daling panahon. Kami magpadayon o suporta kaninyo, kaninyo salamat o God bless. Muning text sa uh, gijimil sa ni Mr. Kwan. No? So dili lang siguro uh, kaning uh, area sa ipunan mga subdivision. Imagine almost all subdivision. So Apil pa sa Patag and other places of Cagayan de Oro ang problema sa water district. Ang karagana ang, ang tubag sa water district, kung yung tawagon, na sila uh, mga kakandak sila o uh, repair or mga ano, kasi kibag repair. No? So, akong naimbawan, as I interviewed some of the personnel in C C C C water, COWD, I learned nga uh, kana ilang booster plant dia sa uh, nasa kamamanan og dinhi sa balulang ilang ga i-off during uh, night time kay kuno magkusibing sa fuel ang nagdaginot man sila unya porisyo nila ang mga tao sa Cagayan de Oro mga consumers mao na nga hinay kayo ang pressure og hugaw maimbawan ninyo og buntag Pag unang tubod sa tubig, hugaw. Kaya nga naman, kung ma-stop ang boosting ka nang magpagdakuan sa tubig, mulugdang mo ng mga, ka nang mga lawag niya. So pag andara na mo nang ibuga dito sa tubo, muna ay cause nga nung lubog ang atong tubig. Kaya ilang kapalungon during night time, ka nang doon ka-booster. So muna mga uh, membro sa atong ano, kauban ako sa City Council, siguro, Uh, di man kong ingon nga short sila sa, sa mga expert dyan sa COWD 
o labi pa sa atong board of directors no kay kini perinya lang ning problema so i think for the last time we have to call the what the district not only you know the manager or even uh, any member of the board of director to appear before this uh, city council or the committee para nga na suma na ta sige reklamo sa mga katawhan dinhi sa kagayan di or mura gyapon nang rason so to put an end of this uh, problem madam chair and my colleagues i think it uh, i will uh, uh, refer this to the uh, committee sa public ut public utility and the proper authority should be invited in order to explain uh, what this, this situation uh, that has been raised in our uh, office, Mr. Chairman, and ma the, uh, Madam Chairman and my colleagues. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councilor Roger Abadai. So, let us uh, refer this to the committee. Committee on Public Utilities with Councilor Romeo Calizo. Okay, thank you very much. Any comment? Yes, Councillor uh, Attorney James Judith. Madam Chair, sa Imodeha, sa Tungalandong, BC Mayor, Jocelyn Bebo Rodriguez, akong tinawad ng mga kauban sa Konseho, sa inyong tanan, maupay. Ina nila, gusto na ako idugang sa timing po nga nabungat ni Councillor Roger Abaday ang problema sa panubig diya sa First District, labi na diya sa may ipunan. Ang ako lang gusto na akong isingit kay uh, nasayod manggud ko, isa man ko sa For the Record, nga nag-drop sa katong memorandum agreement sa South Balibago nga gitaga agtaha sa atong dakbayan nga may mag-supply og panubig diya sa kaning ang South Balibago Resources Incorporated kon SBRI og Water District appeal na pud gani ang city government so tripartite agreement to gusto lang ako putatawon nga atong sa sa committee hearings nato nga mab mabungat to nato kay gusto po nako mapalo up kung unsa nay naitabo kay base sa mong agreement nagsaad ang South Balibago Resources Incorporated nga muhatag og 10 million liters per day MLD sa maong area sa first district. So ang ako is naunsa na ito na itabo at to, nga trabaho mana sa South Balibago Resources Incorporated. Kay gani, ingon magani sa usak artikulo, September 11, 2021, nahuman na daw ang maong project. Usak ka water treatment plan tiya sa may bulaw ipunan. So ang pangutan nga nagtangag da kung ganti karon unsa nay nahitabo ni adto. Asdang okay. kagayan doon. Thank you Councilor Attorney James Judith. So again refer to the Committee on Public Utilities with Councilor Romeo Calizo. So the next speaker will be uh, Councilor John Michael Seno, you recognize? Thank you so much, Madam Presiding Officer, the Honorable Jocelyn Bebot Bautista Rodriguez, and of course, to the members of the 28th City Council, friends from the media, fellow Kagayanons, ang hapon ka natong kanat. It is said that uh, infrastructure is the backbone of economic growth. It, is Im it improves access to basic services such as clean water and e electricity. More access to agricultural produce, connects community, create jobs, and boast businesses. To our honorable presiding officer, to the members of this uh, city council, and to all those who are present in this August Hall, good afternoon. I'm standing here today speaking to all the good members of this council to propose a much needed ordinance that would protect and preserve the arteries of our beloved city of Cagayan de Oro. The imposition of a weight limit upon trucks that would pass by or traverse our city and barangay roads. Our city and barangay roads serve as arteries of our city, wherein the bloodline of the city passes by. This bloodline pertains to the people and the commercial activities, the transportation sector, to name a few. It is my humble and respectful proposal to this Honorable City Council that we pass an ordinance, an ordinance which will impose a weight limit upon big trucks that will pass by our city and barangay roads in order to prevent its fast deterioration. Or the second option is we will uh, improve the thickness sa atuang kadalanan and 
will not allow sa katong mga trucks nga ang ilahang karga basa pa. While it is true that the presence of many big trucks in an area is a sign or an indication of its economic growth, which are all grateful for. This may not be taken at the expense of the arteries of the city, our city and barangay roads. I am saddened to the report to this council that after several inspections of our city and barangay roads in the city, we have found out that several of these are already in poor conditions. Takan na kayo lubak-lubak, Madam Presiding Officer. I have here some pictures, no? Kana sa may kamamanan road. Diha ga pangagi ang dagong trucks, lahos dito sa may Taguanao, padulong din dito sa may Masterson's Avenue. Next slide, please. Run through lang nato, Bustarks. Sige, Bustarks. Ah, okay. Na, sa may kamamanan, gya po na. National High School, bago pa na na simento. Cracks ng gya po, Madam Presiding Officer. Sige. Okay. Kani sa may Kanituan Road. Uh, I have seen dia sa may Kanituan. In fact, uh, last week na ay na disgrasya tungod sa uneven roads, Madam Presiding Officer. Pagatpat area. Kita ni mo, Madam Presiding Officer. Kuba na giyot. Ilis na. Muna ay kahimtang sa atong kadalanan lugar bali, Madam Presiding Officer. Diya sa may kanituan, pagatpat, and then sa may kamamanan. Gana pa ang atong nakuha lugar, Madam Presiding Officer. Ang gakahitabo mong good, nga nung ang ato ang uh, dalan mag-crack, no, bisan o bago pa, tungod kay ang atong city roads, ang thickness niya is only 8 inches. Now, we have allocated uh, in uh, Pagatpat Road re-blocking sa 2021 under sa itong general fund, 5 million pesos. In 2022, 10 million pesos. In 2023, 10 million pesos. A total of 25 million pesos, Madam Presiding Officer, which cannot compensate the revenues which we are collected sa ato ang sun and gravel. Dili good compensate. But now, Madam Presiding Officer, I have talked with the city engineering office, di adjust nila ang thickness. Instead of 8, gihimo nilang 12. So, mas baga-baga tagamay ka ron kay, uh, sa DPWH. Kay I have talked with the construction division of uh, DPWH Regional Office. Kasagala, ang ilang ginahimo is uh, around 11. Pero bisan pag unsa ka baga ang imuhang dalan, Madam Presiding Officer, ang mahitabo diha, labi na ka nang naikarga nga basa. Puno kaayo. Kay ang mga truck karon Madam Presiding Officer, kung ang auto na ay pagamayay, ang mga truck po karon padagkuay. Kung makita niyo ng 12-wheeler truck, that is around 30 to 40 cubic meters ang karga. Makita yun niyo nga andalan kung magian uyog yun tungod sa kabugat, Madam Presiding Officer. Kung ang ilang karga pag yun niya na basa, ang mahitabo, ang tubig musulod dito sa katong gihimo na to nga base course. Before na siya simintuhon, muna siya ang katong balas, bato, yuta, nga gisagol, gimix, motong agian sa pison. Muna siya ang base course, Madam Presiding Officer. Kung basa ang yuta, Madam Presiding Officer, musulod ang tubig. Once nga musulod ang tubig, Madam Presiding Officer, na na siya instances nga naa siya bulihok sa ilalom. Kaya siyempre, basa naman siya humok, magian sa daggo. Hangtod nga malusaw, Madam Presiding Officer, tingala na lang ka nga, bisag unsa ka baga, mukrak yun ang imuhang dalan. That's the reason behind. And kung makita galing ninyo, kung nakabantay mo, pakakita gin mo trucks nga, basa pa kaayo, gaagian ang dalan. 
I don't know kung naabatay ordinansa ni Ana, which kana pun una ato ang tunan, no? We limit sa karga or i-impose nato nga dili gyud pa bahion ang katong naay basa pa ang ilahang karga, Madam Presiding Officer. This gradual deterioration of our city road conditions with would add additional burden to our city government. In terms of road repairs, to name a few, we should be mindful of this. Considering, considering our scarce resources, we cannot afford to have our roads get deteriorated and destroyed, but something that we could easily prevent. The imposition of a weight limit would help us preserve the condition of our city and barangay roads. And my second proposal is that uh, we will not allow sa katong uh, muaging uh, basa pa ang ilang karga with the uh, with the uh, uh, good intervention of the city engineering that we will improve instead of 8 inches into 12 inches ang kabag-on sa atong dalan uh, from time to time we have received many complaints sulti pa nila mura daw og suba nga gakamalhan kana dihang sa may pagatpat kanito ad road no kay diya man gyud kaagi ang ato ang mga sand and gravel no uh, bugat lagi gyud and uh, to end this, why I humbly submit to the wisdom of this Honorable City Council, I sincerely hope that this matter would be given attention and be referred to appropriate committee for further deliberation and more detailed study be conducted. Akong sultiyon pagbalik, Madam Presiding Officer, it's just my proposal, but we will ask the experts on how to solve this issue on sa ato ang kadalanan nga dali kayo gapang crack sa atong mga kadalanan Kung imong lantaon, dako taga kagasto sa atong road reblocking versus sa revenue nga atong gagakolekta. Thank you so much, Madam Presiding Officer. Uh, Kong Hifa Choi. Kong Hifa Choi. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Day. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor uh, Michael Seno. Actually, uh, that is a very good report, no? Uh, it's been a problem for so long. Uh, any comment first? Any comment? Is there any comment? Wala. Okay. Yes, Councilor Attorney James Judith. Madam Chair, gusto lang ako nga malamdagan po, kay base na sayod po si Councilor Seno ani. Gusto na, di ba, na amay mag-agad manta sa sa tanid sa sa truck kung di ba naibayad sa siyudad. Gusto lang ako mabiwan kung unsa galing na siya kanang suklip ba na siya sa DR nga dawatan nato kaning kadakon sa truck. Yes, yes, Councilor uh, Michael Seno, please. Ako na lang magtubag kay akong hermano, ako research food. But uh, that is a delivery receipt. Sa una ang atong practice na Madam Presiding Officer, 10 cubics ra ang ato ang DR. Okay. From uh, I think uh, I think there was an increase of around 50 pesos per cubic na ang giimpose karon sa city. And then uh, we will also include that nga kinanglan ang DRs would be katugyon kung unsa ang ilang karga. No, uh, say for example, 15 cubic. 15 cubic yun ang, ang DR. Kaysa una mang yun, limit lang into 10 cubic, which is, uh, akong tanaw, alkansi po ang syudad. However, kininginanin mag yun DR, usahay po ani, ang mahitabo po, ato lang bantayan, kaya ilabay po ni nila dito sa consumer. Ang consumer ang ilang ipabayad silbi. Kaya gusto nila, ang ilang ginan siya, dili matandog. So kung atong patas anong ayaw ang atong DR po, ihapak nila dito sa consumer, ang ato pong mga kagmay nga maghimo og balay medyo bugat na pod sa ilaha so muna nga gatimbangon karon na madam presiding officer however nana increase sa ato ang mga DRs na okay thank you very much any more comment actually that is yes councilor edgar cabanlas please uh, thank you very much madam chair uh, I, i don't want to comment on this because uh, this is a little bit complicated it involves everything everybody you know, you cannot stop progress. Everything is going big. Big airports, big roads, big, uh, of course, big trucks. You cannot avoid that. So the issue here is, Kana mag say ang itong mga dalan, nakaraan na na. Kana kasi guba. O nipis po. I mean, sometimes yeah, you cannot blame the trucks. You can also blame the construct contractor who constructed the road. So, uh, you have to balance everything here. 
nanay mga tao nga nakapalit ng mga dagko nga truck tingali ni kagian dulu di mamiru sa kalibo ka truck na if you stop from them from using that dagko parbenis lang mga utang so dili ina tong atong manggaling nga nang limitahan dili gitil ni abraf ginalan imo ginihimo on sa hinihinay iklikahan ni mga tao nang negosyante nga nag-invest og millions and billions of pesos nakita na to dinis kagayan duro grabe ang construction we have seen that so ang first gitingali na to dani nga buhaton is uh, quality quality sa ato mga dalan og uh, uh, monitoring kay Kung inyo madunduma, kung inyo makita, Madam Chair, na ay way bridge dia sa Mulugan. Ang tanang truck, ng mga dagko, ng agi dia, timbangon nila. Tanaw nila kung ikaw ni Subra ba sa imong capacity. And if you are uh, uh, loading more than your capacity, you have to pay a penalty. That would be one way of uh, kining... Uh, Pero mula gina, magbutan ba tayo way bridge? Tsaka mo niyo pag-ibalo, nga mo niyo kadako siya. Oh, ako di mong go... Tracker, di ba siya ko, oh, kebulo ka ba, nakakarga na na, 40 cubic, <laughs> cubic meters. So, ang atong buha to, yes, maikining, uh, maikining uh, huna-huna, pero lagi, komplikado. Komplikado kay Pasinog. Uh, kasagara na ba ang mga truck karoon ng mga gagmay, katunan ng mga sikanan. Ang kasagara ang mga bagong nga truck, mga dagko na yun. Kay, uh, para mo na sa pas-pas ang construction. So, muna itong banda yan, and uh, let us consider everything, uh, let us not uh, do it fast, or uh, gradual lang itong pag-decision ini. Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Councillor Edgar Cabadlas. Any more comment? Yes, uh, Councillor Roger Abaday. Uh, in addition, uh, Madam Chair and my colleagues, too. so I submit with the uh, recommendation also of uh, Councillor Ed Cabanlas, uh, let us have to be careful on this. Let us have a careful study. Okay, remember that uh, every vehicle no, using the road from motorcycle to the heavy equipment or truck, they are paying road user tax according to weight. So, uh, is it also unfair that they pay tax for the road use? And aside from that, the city is, and the barangay, is also uh, generating income from the sand and gravel that was extracted from our quarry. See, I think 60, 40 months of barangay, is 60, uh, 60 sa barangay, oh, 40, 60. So, those are things that we have to consider. Uh, uh, we have to weigh it uh, uh, carefully that nothing will be uh, displaced, Madam okay, Chair. Thank you very thank much, Councillor Roger Abaday. Any more comment? One more, last. Councillor Attorney James Judith. Siguro, isip dugang na lang sa tingon na pod ni Councillor Cabanlas na maginahinay sa lugar takabay niya na o naapot tong sugyot ni Concihal John Michael Seno. Ang ako lang, siguro, compromise or we meet halfway. Ina ni, kanang sige na tagdako ng atong dakbayan, di naging malalis, pero ako ang kakakita, nga nung siguro ang pagpatuman sa kini monitoring team sa sa pag-issue sa DR, ako nakita. Kay sige tagdako, naka nakita mga trackers din eh, krabi na mga gambalay kay pangtukod din eh, pero sa, siguro, sa ako ni Bawan, marag wala pa tayo report, marag kung naang magaling, gamay ra ang atong income, gakakuha sa DR. So muna kung gusto nga masayran Konsihal Jan Michael Seno nga pwede siguro nga tutukan na lang nato kay sakto man tong gingaw ni Konsihal Abaday nga nai road user tax unya pagpatuman lang nato kay katong DR di ba mo base pod sa satanid sa truck o unsa pod ang kadaghan ang gehol adto nga truck matag delivery so ang ato lang is siguro pagpatuman istrikto nato nga dili malkansi ang atong dakbayan kay dili magid nato malalis magmulago magid ang atong dakbayan masinso man kita kay didto magida padalong Okay, thank you very much, uh, Councillor Michael Seno. Thank you once again, Madam Presiding Officer. Yeah, I submit also with the recommendation of uh, Attorney Ed Cabanlas and Councillor Roger. That is why 
uh, in my prayer, I have uh, manifested that uh, we would rely on experts on this. Okay. On how to solve this issue. No? Katong lagi akong gisulti nga, uh, uh, posible nga ang thickness or katong sa way bridge. Atong, uh, by the way, just an infor for information of everybody, I have talked with the construction division of DPWH. No? Ang uh, dagan lang nila karon or uh, gagagamit nga way bridge is only in El Salvador. Ang sa puerto nga way bridge, kuba daw. Ang sa puerto nga way bridge. So, kana lang mga entry points, butangan baka na ito way bridge. Yeah. So, depende sa uh, pag-deliberate na ito ni Madam Presiding Officer. But, sa lang yun akong gusto na ipabot on ta, nga I hope na dili ma misconception sa itong mga kauban, is that uh, ang kanang paspas nga pag-deteriorate sa itong kadalanan, I hope nga dili po inana. Usap po itong punto nga gisulti ni uh, Attorney Ed Kaganina, basin sa contractor po, na instead of uh, 8 inches, basin 7 na ay or 7 anihap, or 6 anihap, pero baka di ay. So, wata ka balo, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, that is why, ato po, uh, imbita ron tanan yun, parang uh, masabta na to, kung uh, unsag yun ang uh, uh, tinugdan lugar, Madam Presiding Officer. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Councillor uh, Michael Seno. One last, <laughs> Councillor Edgar Cabanlas. Kining, ako lain magugay, bukan rin mo ta, kining, equal ba ang atong pagtit? I don't think na uh, ang satan di pwede niya, track report, basig maturila. <laughs> Dagan mag-ood na ito nga uh, gagamit sa dalan, di alam mag-ood ang mga tracks. Di alam man ang mga haulir sa mga sanan gravel. Ako ang mag-ood sanan gravel. But, uh, uh, possibly nga, uh, everybody could be contributor to this uh, 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 issue. So, bandiyan ito na, ito na tanahon. Kaya naman, yeah. naman yung mga track, kadagu, kadagu karga nga dili, haulir. So, ito na tanahon, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you very much, Councillor Edgar Cabanlas. Yes, you have to look at th this matter, review the ordinances, because what I notice, overloading. Daghang yung overloading. Okay, Kapitan Paco, problema ko na na. In fact, kanang ilang nga tagak-tagak nila nga mga sanang gravel, hindi nila galimpyuhan. Ang barangay ang galimpyo. And I noticed during campaign period, no, when I have to go to, uh, what you call this, hinterland, in 30 minutes, I counted 20 trucks going back and forth. Now, you have to look into the matter because ang truck, grabe good ka abog. Abog, I do not know. Magbalik-balik ang abog, ang mga balay, nahimong puti na. I don't know whether it's the fault of the contractor nga nipis ang ilang uh, uh, kuan, kaning dalan, or are we strict on the implementation of health, uh, health issues? Kaysa dugay nga nagbalik-balik sa hinterland, Grabe ka abog. In fact, the families living there, na under the town sila sa kaabog. But then, mo lagi na, ang uban ga asma, tungod sa kaabog sa dalan. I hope this can be taken into consideration. Not only the uh, concreting, not only the, the, the overloading, but the health of this uh, uh, hinterland. I am glad that this was brought up. Kaya para ma-check yun na diha. Kaya gabalik-balik na yun na ang kaabog. And pagatpat ka nito, ang grabe yun. And also, my experience no, sa Barangay Nazareth, the overload good. So how do we, how are we able to, ano, to, to what you call this, to, to check whether they are weighing the load that is really required by the city? So review the ordinance. Okay, so, so thank you very much, Councillor Michael Seno. The next, uh, the next uh, speaker will be Council, ah, Councillor, Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayan Marknakaya. Thank you, Madam Presiding Officer. The last time that the City Council uh, have uh, initiated the, the compilation, grouping of uh, various classifications of uh, the ordinance of the city was that in uh, two, 1994, Mr. Sec Secretary? That was uh, known to be, and up to now, the City Codified Ordinance of uh, 1994. And uh, in the previous uh, Council, I have already uh, made a special report on the matter. In fact, there was already a, an initial discussion, Madam Presiding Officer, with the Secretary, with the Assistant City Secretary, and some of the staff in the Council to draft the codification of our ordinances uh, so that uh, in case uh, someone would uh, ask for, for 
a regulatory or a social development uh, measure that has already been acted by the city council or the member perhaps would like to uh, check certain references so that uh, he or she can introduce appropriate uh, measure before the August body. Uh, it would be re readily available according to uh, class and classifications. However, we, we haven't proceeded because uh, uh, completely because uh, some of the uh, programs of the city government have not yet been uh, in a code because our proposal, Madam Presiding Officer, is a codes, book of codes of the city of Cagayan de Oro. In other words, for the health sector, one code. For the barangay governance, one code. For peace, security, one code. For the youth, senior citizens, and social development, another code and uh, some other uh, general principles that uh, the city council have already enacted another code so that for example if uh, the barangay would like to seek guidance as to how they will proceed on certain matter uh, the book of code on barangay governance will be provided to them and for the sector of the women the youth another code will be provided separately separated already madam presiding officer i raise this again madam presiding officer to seek uh, the cooperation of each and every chairperson of our honorable committees in the city council so that we can already arrange everything and compile them in in one book we call book of codes of the city of Cagayan de Oro. So I understand we only have two, three, or four uh, books uh, not yet available for a reason that we haven't enacted yet the code on these sectors. So maybe perhaps uh, in the lengthy period that we are still available in uh, the term, in the tenure of office 2022 to 25, uh, this would be enacted by the city council during your term and during the time of the membership of this uh, 20th city council madam presiding officer and in in this uh, uh, manner we would like to constitute the committee on laws and rules to act as the uh, codification uh, committee madam presiding officer so that it can proceed according to the plan maybe perhaps there would be changes in the plan for as long as we will act, act collectively on the matter and on in pursuant to the interests uh, of uh, the council as well as our constituency of Cagayan de Oro. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor, Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayamak Nakaya. That is a very good idea. Kaya sa kadugayon nga panahon wala ginta, di ba? And hopefully uh, we can uh, plan on that, no? Plan on that so that uh, dili na libog. Dili na libog, ang libro, pag uh, senior, dito ra, open ra. Pag, uh, uh, unsay tawagan eh, uh, at the committee, sa si health na, na diha. So, I, I, this is not, uh, this is very, very, uh, what you call this, very helpful to all of us and to the constituents, no? Kay especially the academe. Wala, maglibog town sila. Asa ah, paingon. In fact, we do not have our legislative library and we're planning for that. No, so very good. Uh, I hope we can do that as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Councillor Majority Floor Leader, Councillor Ayan Magnakaya. You're the next speaker. Who is the next speaker? Ah, okay, Councillor Bernie Bitok Bitok, you're, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Before my special report, I just have a manifestation na I strongly support Ayan Magnakaya's uh, proposal, Mr. Chair. Kay like for example, usami sa kat kami mga ako ra diay nang damay pa ko. Bag-o nga konsihal, dapat prayana sige lang ko man damay kang sertor ko unsa ang about ani nga uh, ordinance o say about ani. And also, this is also a great help also sa ato mga OFWs nga wala diri sa Cagayan de Oro that they, they might check also on unsa nga mga ordinance. And also, atong media, 
Na at least sila po, na po sila idea before the comment, at least na po sila yung masulti na muna yung mga existing ordinance. Okay. <laughs> Madam Chair, again, Vice Mayor Bebo Rodriguez, I'll just make this fast. Uh, for the past also days nga, kita lagi sige man taog biyahe. Uh, I know everybody would agree, uh, my, 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 my colleagues, ako mga fellow councillors nga, grabe na good ka-traffic ang kagayon di oro. Number one, because of course, we have a lot of road constructions. And number two, nga permitin ako may experience, uh, Madam Chair, labi na kanang mga mayong taog, kanang busy nga mga oras, like 6 to 8 a.m., tapag uli 5 to 7 p.m. Ako na bantayam, uh, Madam Chair, nga dagan na kay tayo mga establishment karon nga mag-unload o mag-load sa ilahang mga stocks or what products or whatever nga mismo dia asa kaning mga oras and makatraffic yun ni eh. before i proceed sa special report nag nang nagwana sa go nag text sa go kay ano kay sir torx then nakita na ko ning ordinance number 10551 20, uh, 2007, an ordinance providing for the traffic code of the city of Cagendioro, amending pertinent provisions of the codified ordinance of the city of Cagendioro and for other purposes. On section 1, ang atong loading and unloading zones, a driver of a truck may park his vehicle in loading zone when actually taking up or setting down goods provided he is present at all times and attending to the same a driver of public utility vehicle shall stop, pick up, or unload passengers only at designated loading zones. On sections of the road where there is no prohibition against loading and unloading, he may stop to take up or set down passengers provided it is 50 meters away from a signalized intersection. So, nata yung ana. Pero, I'm more focused on sa oras ba. Now, uh, article, I think, 15 sa truck ban, section 97, Truck routes and limited truck ban, cargo trucks, uh, gravel and sand trucks and other heavy cargo trucks with eight wheels and up or those gross vehicle weights exceed 4,500 kilograms. Eh, napod sila ikuan sa oras, including tractor trailers or containerized haulers shall not be allowed to travel or enter, load or unload cargos from 7 to 9 a.m., and from, and from 5 to 7 p.m. in the following areas of the city. Madam Chair, nag-try yung go og biyahe, mga, mga alas 6, mga alas 7, and nag mga gagakita nga, dagan na kay mga hardware, nga sayo kayo, alas 6, alas 7 pa lang, gababag na ang ilang mga help, kay gadaog ga, ga og mga, mga, ilang mga karga. Tanawin siya nato na, I think, I have some mga pictures, na po iban may ngani, Ang uban mga fast food chains na sila yung mga gina-download ang mga na. I think, do ganina na di kid kay nga naka-traffic, mga na, ka nga mga mga postura. I think, di na nato na ma mausab nga na na mag ang negosyo. I think, may prayer lang, Madam Chair, hopefully, ta na ma-review lang nato Nga, uh, to review the ordinance, and due to the heavy traffic now, can we add a specific time for the loading and unloading, not only for those specific vehicles na namo yung nakabotan dito, pero mga dinagko, magigayo. Ang ako lang is, tanatanan sa iyong pa, sana all. Hopefully, preana, na, di naman nato na maiswag ng hardware diha, pero nagid siya sa main ng mga dalan na makakosog traffic. Pwede ba nga atong iset do, I already called ah, uh, RTA about this, nga wala mangiday specific nga oras. Hopefully, tana, tanan nga mga sakyanan. Bisag ka nilang sa during rush hour lang yun, Madam Chair, nga tana dili sila mag-unload o load kay para lang at least dili kayo makadugang sa grabe nga traffic. Mora, Madam Chair, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Councillor Bernie Esparcia. So, let us revisit the, ano, and implement uh, refer to Committee on Public Utilities. So the next uh, speaker is a uh, majority floor leader, Councillor Ayan Mark Nakaya. No, let's proceed. Oh, manato. Mana. Oh, manato. Mana? Let's quatro. Mura ramo tu gasturia. Anyway, anyway, so mana dia itu sya? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. So let us Thank proceed, uh, majority floor leader, Councillor Ayan Mark Nakaya.
Tabi naman ni Ato sa hay. <laughs> girl, pagtabi po mo niya, girl. <laughs> di, di, Ready na na yung hapak. Ah, di sa tamakurintian ah, ni Councilor <laughs> Bernie. Di ka kaya wire. <laughs> Tumba na to din eh. Anyway, uh, we now proceed to the agenda proper, Madam Presiding Officer. First item is proposed resolution number 2023-248, returning to the Barangay Council of Barangay Number 3, the city, its ordinance number 1, series of 2022, covering its annual budget budget for calendar year 2022 with an estimated income of 3,208,772 pesos with information that said ordinance is operative in its entirety. May we ask the chair to recognize Councilor. Oh, Councilor Yan Lamlim, Anala. <laughs> Councilor, Councilor Yan Lamlim, Lam you're recognized. Dool na kayo siya, uy. Yan kita na, George Gokin. Madam Chair, may hapon. Ma Madam Chair, know. everything is in order. I move to approve purpose resolution number 2023-248. Any second? Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second? Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Number two is proposed resolution number 2023-249, urging all punong barangay chairpersons of Sangguniang Kabataan, regional and or provincial directors of national government agencies or instrumentalities and heads, chiefs of city government offices, departments of the city to intensify the campaign against illegal drugs through social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. And to use the hashtag DILG, PADS, per Department of the Interior and Local Government, DILG, Memorandum dated September 22, 2022. Since Councilor Romeo Caliza is on official business, may we ask the Chair to recognize Councilor Roger Abaday. Councilor Roger Abaday, you are recognized. Thank you very much, uh, Majority Floor. Uh, considering that resolution number 2023-249 is in order, I move to approve. Second. Any second? Objection. Okay. Uh, comment? Councillor Bernie Sparsha? Madam Chair, uh, I reviewed the appendix, Madam Chair. Uh, ako lang ay pangutana, or baka ano lang for styling lang, kay, when we say magod Facebook, na magoy personal, o naapoy fan pages, unsa ba ni, kung for example, kung what if, kung na siya personal nga Facebook, kailangan ba siya appeal ang iyong personal, or katorang sa office lang nga uh, fan page? Michelle. official lang kay like i know some of us naman tayo mga personal nga pages i'm sure na iuban nga kuan mga department na po sila personal pero na po ay kanang pan page yun sa mismo sa department o sa mani all ba ni or kailangan fan pages lang or official lang ana lang i think kuan lang for styling lang siguro ni official gina siya gina mag personal di ba majority floor leader official but if The, Gusto siya personal? Yes. Uh, if the director, if the president, so is if the there, chairman uh, would like to Is there specific use, uh, instruction? Uh, encourage uh, ang empleyado. So it, it could be personal yes. also. So official and personal. Depends on you. Depends on the individual. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Councilor Bernice Parcha. So where are we? For the approval. Okay. Uh, in a second, objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second, objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Number three is proposed resolution number 2023-250, adopting and strongly endorsing to the concerned government agencies and officials or referring to the concerned city council standing committees, the herein resolutions adopted by the Rotary Youth City Council Batch 2022, for favorable consideration and appropriate action. Move for its approval, Madam Presiding Officer. Second. Any objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Number four is proposed ordinance number 2023-95, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor, Rolando A. Uy, representing the city government of Cagayan de Oro to enter into and sign the MOA with the Philippine Statistics Authority, PSA, represented by its regional director, Janet C. Aves, CEDM, covering the implementation of the project entitled 
Filsi's Birth Registration Assistance Project for the Local Government of Cagayan de Oro, or BP, PBRAP, under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. May we ask the Chair to recognize Councillor Suzette Magtaas Daba. Councillor Suzette Magtaas Daba, you are recognized. Madam Chair, um, everything is in order. I move to approve proposed ordinance number 2023-95. Second. Second. Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Uh, move to approve Kamut. second final reading. Second. Mana? Sige lang. Sige lang ko no. Oh, no. Sige lang. It's a to. Meaning we will proceed, Madam Presiding uh, Officer. <laughs> Move to approve second final okay, reading. Okay, second. Huh? Oh, oh, second siya. Pwede ba? Oh. Okay. Counselor. No, no, he, he, he will not raise. No, there's but there is to not discuss. objection. There's nothing to discuss on second final reading. Ah, okay. Oh, sige, sige. Sige. Okay, Counselor Attorney James just Judith. Just for my education, uh, Madam Chair and Majority Floor Leader, because in... Number one, it involves budget. Na ilang bigit ang budget, pero resolution to gamit. Basi styling lang. And number four, wala yung budget involved, but we called it ordinance. Or am I the one? Moa, Moa. Is it the president? It's a, it's a Moa. Ah, okay, ra? Hmm. Moa. Ah, okay. So that's why we give him the power. Okay, klaro lang ako. For my education. Okay. Thank you very salamat, much. Salamat, salamat. Any second? Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by carried. Number five is proposed ordinance number 2023-96, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Rolando A. Uy, representing the City Government of Cagayan de Oro, to enter into and sign the Memorandum of Agreement with the A. Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Regional Office 10, B. Congressional Office of Honorable Rufus B. Rodriguez, C. E. Pilais Ranch Incorporated, and D. Department of Environment and Natural Resources Regional Office 10, DNR 10. Covering the development, improvement, and conservation of the country's fishery and aquatic resources in Region 10 under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. May we ask the Chair to recognize Councillor J. Councillor J. Pascual. <laughs> you recognize? Hello. Uh, Madam Chair, everything is in order. I move to, to approve proposed ordinance number 2023-96. Any second? Object, objection? I hear none. Motion is here by Karim. Muraghapi ka dia, Councillor J. Pascual. Ah, okay. Move to approve second final Happy reading. Kasha. Anyway, proceed. <laughs> For second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is here by Karim. Number six, A and B. A is proposed ordinance number 2023-97, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor, Rolando A. Uy, representing the city government of Cagayan de Oro to enter into and sign the MOA with the National Housing Authority, represented by its acting regional manager for Region 10, Alfonso L. Borlagdan, covering the collaboration of the parties for the development of the Cagayan de Oro Resettlement and Socialized Housing Project 5, Cedar Ship 5, Phase 2. Uh, the city-owned property identified as lot number 18503-C, CAD 237, CSD-10-02589-D, located in Barangay San Simon, the city involving the NHA's 50 million financial assistance fund contribution to the city for the construction of 132 housing units under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. B is proposed ordinance number 2023-98, authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Rolando A. Uy, representing the city government of Cagayan de Oro to enter into and sign the contract of loan with real estate mortgage with the National Housing Authority, represented by its acting regional manager for Region 10, Alfonso L. Borlagdan, covering the grant of loan by the NHA to the city government of Cagayan de Oro in the amount of 50 million pesos, treated as half loan, half grant, for the development of Cagayan de Oro Resettlement Socialized Housing Project 5, Cedarship 5, Phase 2 of the city-owned property, identified as lot number 18503-SEEDS, CAD 237-CSD-10-0250-D, 
02549-D located in Barangay San Simon de City containing 132 housing units under the terms and conditions stipulated therein. May we ask Chair to recognize Councillor Edgar Ed Cabanlas. Councillor Edgar Cabanlas, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Majority Floor Leader. These uh, two proposed ordinances were duly deliberated in the committee level. Uh, I move for the approval. Second. Any second? Uh, Objection? Uh, Councillor uh, Bernice Parsha, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Majority Floor. Uh, Madam Chair, I'm going to ask you, how many 132 are beneficiaries? How many are you going to Sa walay pabagol-pabor, Madam Chair, baka pwede ma-prioritize ang mga taga-kampo, patag. <laughs> Kaya na po sila yung mga court order dito, Madam Chair. So just in case lang, baka wala pa mga beneficiaries, ani, baka pwede ma-priority ang mga taga-patag, Madam Chair. Mara na, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we will refer this to the uh, to the committee of Councillor Edgar Cabanlas. Yes? Uh, the construction of these 132 units are still ongoing. And of course, uh, there are no specified beneficiaries yet. They will be chosen after the uh, uh, construction of these houses. There are problems with Patag. There are no 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 problems But we hope that uh, we accommodate sila. Chud will decide on that. Yeah. Chud will decide on that. We will refer that to Chud. Okay. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Councillor Edgar Cabanlas. <laughs> Let's proceed, Councillor Ayan Marquez. For the ruling, Madam Presiding Officer, for the approval. Uh, in a second? second? Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. For inclusion, we have items 7, 8, and 9. So, huh? Ah, okay. Number 10 from uh, Councillor James Judith. So, uh, move for their inclusion, Madam Presiding Officer. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. 7 is proposed resolution number 2023-251, earnestly requesting the Center of Inclusive Development Studies, CIDS, of the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, USTP system, through its president, Dr. Ambrosio B. Cultura, the second to conduct the following research studies. A, composting biodegradable waste using black soldier fly. B, use of compost derived from composting biodegradable waste using black soldier fly. C, use of rainwater harvesting technology in public schools to address water scarcity. D, Community Impact Assessment of the Flood Risk Management Project of Cagayan de Oro City. Move for its approval, Madam Presiding Officer. Any second? Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Number eight is proposed resolution number 2023-252, declaring every second Thursday of January of every year as National Baptist Day in the city of Cagayan de Oro in cognizance of the Baptist continuous pursuit of their evangelical mission to contribute to nation building by establishing Christian schools that instill academic excellence and build character in individuals and churches that proclaim, teach, and share biblical principles for the betterment of society and in order to focus public attention to, pro to the programs and activities given impetus in the observance thereof. Move for its approval, Madam Presiding Officer. Any second? second. Any objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. I would like to clarify, uh, Majority Floor Leader. So this is the Baptist uh, sa ilan eh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because they wanted that January of uh, second Thursday of January. So uh, this is sa ilan eh? So depende on the denominations, no? On sa ilang gusto sa mahitabo, no? This is exclusively for the Baptist. Yes. Right? Okay. It has been lobbied by. Uh, Bishop uh, Andales. Andales. Yeah, yeah. He went okay, personally so to the actually office. Actually, everybody, any denominations can always do the same as this uh, uh, resolution with the, the, the Baptist no, church through uh, Bishop Andales. So everybody's uh, no, uh, yes. welcome. Okay. Move to approve second final reading. Any second? 
Objection. Ahinan motion ni Sir Baikari. Number nine is proposed resolution number 2023-251, commending and congratulating the herein kagayanon students who competed and emerged victorious in the recently concluded World International Mathematical Olympiad 2023-22 held in Thailand to wit. We have A. Ray Stephen Choa, award gold medalist, category senior secondary, school Xavier University Senior High School. B. Den Ethan Josh A. Castro, silver medalist, primary five, St. Mary's School. C. Johnny Cape Nale, silver medalist, kindergarten, city central school. Wow, first Nabi time. Ba? D. Ethan Brian C. Bronze medalist, primary five, Oro Christian Gray School. E. Marie Nicole Andrea Vinyas, bronze medalist, senior secondary. Xavier University Senior High School. Move. Proponent, City Vice Mayor Jocelyn B. Rodriguez. Move for its approval, Madam Presiding Officer. Any second? Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second and final reading. Second. Objection? I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Number 10 is proposed resolution number 2023-252, expressing the 20th City Council's commendation and gratitude to the officers and members of the Cagayan de Oro City Police Office, Kukpo, headed by Police Colonel Aaron. Colonel, Colonel Roman ba? Okay, okay. Full pledge man. Mandia, for a job well done in the maintenance of the city's peace and order during the Yuletide season and New Year's Day celebration. May I ask the Chair to recognize Councillor James Judith. Councillor Attorney James Judith, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Considering that everything is in order, I move for the approval of proposed resolution number 2023-252. Second. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. Move to approve second final reading. Second. Objection. I hear none. Motion is hereby carried. There being no other pending, move to adjourn, Madam President. Thank you very much. Uh, session adjourned.